Tonight's soccer game is being brought to you in part by Dr. Michael Lemontowski and Surgical Associates, 10 Highland Park Drive here in Uniontown. They can be reached at 724-439-6340. Good luck to the area teams from Dr. Michael Lemontowski. Editors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebli Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebli Mahalov and White. here on the South Union Township Sports Network, a 4-0 lead for Laurel Highlands over Brownsville. Gianni Dai picking up his first of the night, coming here with the 8.09 mark of the second half. And this game was scoreless at the half, and the Mustangs with four goals here in the second half to pace out to a 4-0 lead. A brace for Max Mears and goal scored by Timmy Rice and Gianni Dai. Zach Mitchell to take the throw in here for the Mustangs. And Brownsville letting it go all the way through. And Marshall sends it high in the air all the way back to Todd Brown. Brown again sends it high. Mears knocks it down. Over to Dylan Seaman. Seaman dances to his right. Back to Mears again. Mears on the chip down the near side. Car Carmen Cavanaugh is there. Kavanaugh trying to center, broken up by Marshall and sent out of play on the near side with 7-11 left. The Mustangs making another change. Kavanaugh will check out. And checking in there for Laurel Highlands. At Dylan Rice, number 10. But it's Dylan Rice, number 10, checking into the game. Rice, his first appearance of the night. Coming here in the final seven minutes. Here's Seaman from 30 out, sends it low. Scooped up by Jacob Bonin. And Bonin really has played a solid game despite giving up four goals. Bonin has had some nice saves in this game. Also for some of those stops, the score could easily be seven or eight to nothing in favor of Laurel Highlands. And of course... It's been a clean sheet on the other side for Jake Campbell so far. The Mustangs have still only allowed one goal on the season. That came in mop-up time in their opener against Albert Gallatin. Here's a Rapp who scored four in the opener against the Colonials, sending it back to Mitchell, and Mitchell from a parking lot just sends it over the goal. That's all good for you And Brownsville making a few more changes here. In the final, 5:37, And the Laurel Highlands girls off to a 2-0 start. We'll have their opener against Connellsville at home here on the South Union Township Sports Network. The girls from Laurel Highlands wins over Bentworth and Brownsville, both by scores of 4 to nothing. Both of those games are played up at Connellsville High School in the Fayette County Coaches Tournament. Flowers coming back here for Brownsville. Plays it off to his left. Zach Ruffcorn shot just goes wide. And Ruffcorn taking that from about 25 yards out. Sending it wide on the near side. And we're under five minutes. Plenty of supporters out on both sides here tonight. Laurel Highlands bringing a nice contingent up. And the Brownsville faithful here as well. That ball was last touched by Laurel Highlands. Be a corner kick here for Brownsville. Sent up top, no one home. Mustangs on the break. Chipped ahead here to die. Here's Gianni Dye already with a goal tonight. Looking for the brace. Some backside pressure though from Flowers. It was plenty of speed out there on the Brownsville side. Collides with Rapp, went off of 
Oral Islands is saying it went off of Flowers and out. That is the official call as Garrett Kopich re-enters for the Mustangs with 4.05 to play. Fired back in. Seaman is there. Sent ahead to Die. Die's shot and a save made by Bana. Bana, another nice stop for Brownsville. Clears out on the near side. Falcons looking to break it down. And that was Lucas Kremboski on the break attempts. And there's Flowers. But a nice job defensively there by Timmy Mahalko. With 328 to play. Seaman a little touch. Over to Kopich again. And now Seaman. Seaman over to Max Mears. Played back to Mahalko. Forward again to Mears. On the far side to Kopich. Kopich now goes crossfield. Played a little bit too far behind Todd Brown. Brown on the chase. And now the keeper Campbell comes out. A dangerous play there. Playing it back to center. Where it's headed back by Daniel Miller. And headed forward by the Mustangs and Russell Vallejo. And Todd Brown trying to take it away from a chasing Daniel Miller. But Miller wins the ball here for Brownsville. Brown a little poke. Zach Ruffcorn finds it. Ruffcorn's long shot. Sails high and over the goal. With 2.34 to play. And the Mustangs looking like they'll hang on and prove officially to 2 0 1 on the season. Here we had the start of this game delayed by about 25 minutes due to some holes that had to be filled up on the pitch due to the Brownsville football team playing here this past Friday. Once they got the field taken care of, we got underway. And after a scoreless first half, Mustangs with four here in the second half. Now with two minutes left, Brownsville trying to get on the scoreboard. Timmy Mahalko, a nice job to step in front of Eli Ruffcorn. And the ball rolls in to the Mustang keeper, Jake Campbell. Final 100 seconds in this contest. And he put down for a goal kick. And the Mustangs can afford to take their time right now. Zach Mitchell sends it back to center. Rap trying to break. Headed on that back line by Delarose. But the Mustangs a chip. Mears looking for the HT. Mears coming forward. Shot on goal. Just going wide on the far side. Mears again. Oh, so close to the HT. With a minute left here in the second half. This game has been very entertaining. Very competitive on both sides. Brownsville with a loss will drop to one and one after their opening game win over Bentworth. But from the looks of this Brownsville team, it looks like they'll have a much more successful season than they had a year ago when they picked up only one win all year long. That came over Uniontown. His guys will win some games this year. As Todd Brown sends it over to Timmy Mahalko. 18 seconds to play. Seaman and now Kopich ahead to Mears. He'll give it off here to Seaman again. Very unselfish play from Mears. Going to try to keep it himself, looking for another HT tonight. Low shot there from Kopich. Broken up by Brownsville, and that'll do it. Laurel Highlands improves to 2 0 1 on the season with a 4 0 win there at the Redstone Field in Republic. A clean sheet tonight for Jake Campbell. A brace for Max Mears. Mears scoring goals with 35-20 left in the second half and 14-25 left in the second half. Timmy Rice adding another goal that was assisted by Timmy Lucas and Gianni Dye picking up the fourth Mustang goal of the game at the 809 mark of the second half. A 4-0 win for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Again, up next for Laurel Highlands, a home game against Ringgold. A game will carry here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Brownsville, they'll hit the road and take on McGuffey. 
Tonight's game was brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, J.R. Wheeler, Gary Smith, and their staff. Again, your final score, Laurel Highlands 4, Brownsville nothing. Until next time, I'm Brian Morozak with Jerry Dupay. This has been a South Union Township Sports Network presentation. So everybody.